Welcome back to the channel. Today we're building the trailer here. As you can see, I've already built it. Um, anyway, let's get on with it. Okay, I've made a few designs of trailers. This is the first design. As you can see, it's an over wheel design which keeps the trailer as narrow as possible so that the car sits over the top of the axles and wheels. This made it so that the ramp would be very steep for getting the car onto the back and also any vehicle sitting on the back will be sitting very high and making the center of gravity very, very high. Which led me to this design, a beaver tail design with a bit of reinforcing on the back to strengthen the weakest part, the beaver tail. This had the desired effect of reducing the steepness of the ramp by reducing the height at the back but the center of gravity of any vehicle being carried will be still very high which brought me to my final design of transportation trailer which moves the wheels to the outside of the frame so the center of gravity is much lower it also reduces the steepness of the ramp i'm going to be referring back to this diagram throughout the video so first up, let's get on and make the axles from some polo hubs that I got from a junkyard. First up, I'm removing the wheels from the hubs. As I said, these hubs came from a VW polo from a junkyard. They chopped the axles off, leaving everything on there. First job, remove all the wheels so I can get access to the hubs. Now I'm using a cut-off wheel to cut off the original axle to allow me to weld on some box section to form a new axle. modeled in Fusion 360 the hub the polo hub and I'm going to show you how I'm welding the axle on here so on the back of the hub we've got a shape like this this is where the old axle used to be connected to I've cut it off flush so we've basically got this shape there's a few other details that I've excluded and what I've done is I've welded this a short piece of box section which I've welded on the inside of the box section this is 40 by 40 box so it's got external dimensions of 40 millimeters by 40 millimeters and then the axle itself sleeves over the top of this so what i've got is i've got the axle goes over the top like that and can be welded on the outside and can be heavily beveled to weld to the other box this axle is 50 by 50 with a 5 mil wall giving a very tight fit now I'm cutting down the 40 by 40 box section here to 100 mils, cutting four pieces, one for each axle so that it can be welded on. using a carbide burr to clean up any burrs on the edge and to make a good welding surface so that when I weld the inside I get a good solid weld. Now 
mixed up the outside of the square tube and gets a clean up with the angle grinder. I made a jig out of some scrap steel to hold the axle insert in place while it gets welded. This ensures that all of the axles have the same position on the holes. The inner piece of 40 by 40 square tube gets tacked into place first and then gets fully welded on the inside. After welding the short piece of 40 by 40 to the hubs, it's time to weld the axles together. So the 50 by 50 by 5 mil square tubing gets slid over the 40 mil and fully welded around the outside. First the end gets squared off and a bevel gets ground in ready for welding. First I make four small tacks in each corner. The tacks are then cleaned up with a wire wheel on an angle grinder, ready to lay a full bead of weld. The tacks are then dressed with the angle grinder. In total, three beads of weld are layered on top of each other to give a good solid joint between the axle and the hub. Adding some extra gussets top and bottom made out of five millimeter thick plate to strengthen the joint between the hub and the axle. Okay, well that's the trailer axles built and that'll do for this episode. Next episode we'll be welding up the frame and getting the trailer completed, hitch attached, brakes all on and everything like that. Alright, so until next time, take care of yourselves and see you soon.